Shabbat Shalom. Pashat Bacho Alocha is this week's Pashat, the grand march towards the good. It is a Torah portion of both difficulty and opportunity. Winston Churchill once said, a pessimist sees the difficulty in every opportunity. An optimist sees the opportunity in every difficulty. Winston Churchill was British and married an American, as did I. My drush will be focused on British Jewry. I was born in North London, and my parents were members of the Southgate Progressive Synagogue. The name changed a few times. Earlier, it was the Southgate Liberal Synagogue. Liberal and progressive were terms that were used interchangeably. But liberal was dropped when the Liberal Party, a political party, was gaining traction to avoid any misconception that we had a political bias. Congregational governance was similar to Ose Shalom, but with key language differences. The board was called council. Sisterhood was called the Women's Guild. The president was called chairman. A chairman served for three years. My father was chairman for two terms, and my mother served one term. And to avoid gender labeling, chairman was often shortened to chair. When my mother led the council, she refused to be referred to as a piece of furniture. She preferred Madam Chairman. Southgate Progressive Synagogue belonged to the Union of Liberal and Progressive Synagogues, ULPS. My father was appointed treasurer of ULPS, then vice chairman and ultimately chairman. ULPS was a member of European Jewry and the World Union of Progressive Judaism. The World Union of Progressive Judaism was established in London in 1926 and is the international network of reform, liberal, progressive, and reconstructionist movements, serving over 1.8 million members worldwide in more than 1,250 congregations in over 50 countries. Reconstructing Judaism is also a member of this body. There are six ecclesiastical authorities or flavors of Judaism in the UK when I was growing up. Federation, who I thought of as the ultra-Orthodox, they walked to shul. The Ashkenazim, the United Hebrew Congregations, people drove to the street around from the shul and then walked the rest of the way. <laughs> Sephardim, the Spanish and Portuguese Jewish Congregation of London, they had sand on the floor. Reform synagogues of Great Britain, the Assembly of Mazorti Synagogues and the Union of Liberal and Progressive Synagogues. Whereas the US Constitution has separation of church and state, in England, because the king is head of the church, there is no separation. Our weekly prayer books, for example, included a prayer for Israel, as well as a prayer for the health of the country and of the monarch. Jews did not need a uh, separate civil ceremony because a minister was also a registrar. This was true of Protestant and Jewish ceremonies, but was not true for Catholic, uh, Sikh, or um, other religions. Both my parents, my parents were married in a united synagogue, and when they moved to Southgate, they went to a united uh, synagogue. No one came up to them, no one spoke to them after the service. The next week, they went to a Southgate liberal synagogue. They were warmly welcomed, invited back to the rabbi's house for lunch, and this made a real impression. <laughs> they joined. Certain civil matters required input from British Jewry. And this was provided through a group called the Board of Deputies of British Jews. The Board of Deputies of British Jews comprised deputies selected from synagogues. You had one deputy for every 400 members, as well as organizations like the ULPS, 
and the reform movement. You had two deputies if you had 15,000 members up to six members, six, six deputies if you had 30,000. Ajax, the Jewish Military Association, and the Union of Jewish Students. Both my parents were appointed as deputies on the board of deputies. At that time, shopkeepers could not open their shops on Sunday unless they were Jewish. The state left it up to the board to determine if someone was Jewish and could therefore receive a license to open their shop on a Sunday. My father was on the committee that heard these cases. On one occasion, a man appeared before the board in a turban seeking, to, seeking the shopkeeper's license. He was asked to recite the Shema. He did, perfectly. He was asked to recite the blessing over food and wine, and he did so, again, perfectly. He had been coached well, and the board had no way to prove that he wasn't Jewish, and therefore they awarded him a license. So things are done differently in Great Britain. <clears throat> but there are some things which are very similar. Above us, we have an expression, the second ring, Kineh mitzvah v'torah or, and that's the the same expression that was above the Torah in my synagogue in London, Shabbat Shalom. 